Hey guys, this video will be the first in a new series I'm introducing. I've been working on this project behind the scenes for a while now, but I think I'm ready to start publishing videos about it. After I installed my home patch rack last year, you can uh, check out the videos in the card somewhere, I started looking at the next phase of my home office project. That phase I'm calling Ultimate Overkill Desk. What the hell was that? Let's try that again. I'm calling this project my Ultimate Overkill Desk. Project? Okay, so um, yeah, let's roll the intro and see what this is all about. What the hell does that mean? Well, quite clearly as it states, I'm going to build a custom wooden desk complete with integrated cable routing and LEDs. Now all of this is a bit experimental, I've never done anything like this either, but um, I'm going to try and take you guys along and make videos as I go. It's probably going to take the better half or rest of the year really until it's actually done and it's going to involve some woodworking, some metal and electronics to get it all working. To start off with this video, we're going to look at the excellent paper drawings I made for this project, the wood I selected and how we're going to mount it or stand up the table. So the plans for this desk started uh, during the actual plans for the house. I didn't think it out in much detail. But I did think or envision what I wanted to have in my office, of course. As I said, at the end of the last year, when the patch rack project was mostly done, I started looking at this phase. And of course, as most logical, I started out with measuring the, the walls and how big I wanted the desk to be. So I never really made an electronic version of this drawing. So here are some photos of my sketchbook which contain the very not well proportionally sized uh, drawings, but they do have the correct measurements. As you can see, this desk will occupy mostly the space my current desk is occupying, but it will also fill in the, the gap in the wall uh, behind uh, or, or below the patch rack. And I've also decided to add some shelves from the same material. So looking around for the wood, uh, as many YouTubers online, I started looking at buying some uh, IKEA kitchen countertops. But in the end, I decided not to, because when I looked further, especially on a Dutch site called uh, Marktplaats, it's a, uh, it's a trade website where people can trade with each other, I saw a lot of adverts for pretty cheap oak wooden tabletops, which are maybe, well, higher quality, but it also looked a lot nicer than the ones from Ikea. So after evaluating my options, I selected a few and uh, I went to the stores and looked around. And after going to a few stores, I found one store where I actually bought the tabletops in the end. So this store was De Korting Knaller in Den Bosch. And that's a name of a store I wouldn't really go to normally. It's a Dutch name. In English, it would say like the, the bargain hunter or something like that and it doesn't really inspire you with awe for the quality and craftsmanship and stuff like that but i went there anyway it was close to my home and i looked at their tabletops in their store and their prices were good and the quality looked excellent so after evaluating that and checking my measurements and stuff like that again I decided to pay their warehouse a visit because you can actually ask them to um, de-stack some of the tabletops and you can just choose the ones you like best. And oh boy, did they have a lot of tabletops in that uh, warehouse. So I asked them to uh, de-stack a few of them and then a few more and <laughs> then a few more. And uh, I picked out two and I asked them to do make them to my custom specifications. Now, this isn't something they normally do, but I brought along some electronic drawings. I'll show, in, show you in a minute. And in the end, they decided to make the cuts for me that I needed. So looking at the specific cut sections, 
There is the main desk section, which is, of course, the biggest part, basically. There is the part that goes into the, the crevice or the, the cutout in the wall. And then I've envisioned a sort of rollout table I can store under the desk. I have some plans for that in the future when I can finally use my office to record videos instead of, well, sitting in my garage. I like my garage, but eh, change of scenery would be good. And then I've envisioned two shelves, uh, one for above the desk and the other uh, on the side to basically complete the whole setup. As you can see, there's also some green bars on the drawing. Those are um, natural wood edges, as they call it. So they're a bit rougher, they're not a straight cut. And I decided to take uh, tabletops which have those in them to give it a more natural look. So I ended up buying two tabletops. One is two meters by one meters and five centimeters thick. And the other is two meter 30 by one meter and also five centimeters thick. Now that is nothing to sneeze at. Five centimeters real wood. This isn't thickened edges or uh, basically cardboard filling or anything like that. This is five centimeters and I'll, I'll show the inches on the screen uh, somewhere. I think over here. Well, who knows? Uh, but five centimeters is this thick. So after uh, two weeks, they cut up the pieces I needed and I went to pick them up and I was actually able to fit them in my car. But man, those things are heavy. So as you can see, here are some shots where they were in my car and they ended up in the garage. And that's where I'm going to leave it for the wood for now. Uh, in the next video, I'll discuss uh, what kind of finish I'm putting on the wood and maybe what kind of uh, woodworking I'm planning on doing with them. Although that's new to me too. But, so maybe there will be another video, but we'll see. So the last thing I wanted to discuss in this video is how to actually mount this desk. Since the combined weight of all these pieces is around 150 kilos, you can't just screw it again uh, into the wall and expect it to hang there or maybe get some flimsy legs, that won't work. More than that, actually, I also want it to be sturdy enough so I can actually stand on the desk or lie on it or whatever if I need to reach the back of the patch rack, for instance. But I want to do that without having anything beneath the desk, really. I really hate having uh, too many legs beneath the desk or cable baskets or uh, I don't know, desk adjustments or all kinds of other crap that's often beneath a desk where I hit my knees and I hit my leg and I hit my feet and I don't want to pay attention to that. I want to put my feet and my legs under my desk and yes, I'm, I'm a bit tall and I don't want to get them strangled in all kinds of cables that are just hanging there or whatever. I mean, I'll, I'll rip that shit off if I'm not paying attention. So some people might not mind, but I do. So get away with your crap beneath your desk. And uh, th that's for my, my legs, my knees and my feet. So there. But of course, this was a bit of a challenge because some of the mounting uh, would have to be very close to the side wall where I was going to be sitting. Um, I also didn't want the mounting to be too thick because then I'd still hit my legs and knees and I couldn't uh, put them up against the bottom part uh, of the desk. And yeah, so I looked at a lot of options and well, discarded most of them. So then I came across uh, raw angle steel beams and this seemed like a good choice. The price was okay and they were raw so they weren't coated or anything. And I found a place which which would cut them to the lengths I would need. And I basically cut them to the wall uh, I'm going to mount the desk to. And then about 10 centimeters shorter. So that uh, if I have two in, a, in, a, in an angle like this, uh, they won't hit each other. I decided to go with 60 by 60 millimeter uh, steel angles. Uh, basically a 90 degree uh, angle. Uh, which also are 6 millimeters thick. So while ordering, I was in doubt if that would be thick enough and if I maybe should order some stronger steel or some wider, longer, thicker. Uh, but now that I have them, and I'll, I'll be showing some pictures over here, holy shit, these things are heavy and I don't think this is going to be a problem whatsoever. If um, you take a look at my 
uh, paper drawing again. Basically, all the sides of the wall, even in the crevice, are going to get one of these angle brackets. I think that'll hold. Um, even if I'm standing on it and I'm about 100 kilos. So for the shelves, I'm planning to use some uh, invisible mounting, but more about that in future videos. So since this has already become quite a long video, I'm going to leave it at that for now. In the next video, I'll tell you more about the plans I have for the custom cable routing and LEDs. And we'll also take a look at the angle uh, steel brackets and uh, see how I prepared them and mounted them to the wall. And probably also talk about wood finishing because that's a whole, a whole sinkhole altogether. So, man. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. I hope you, you're going to enjoy this series and I hope you'll follow along. Make, make sure to subscribe, you know. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.